It is perhaps every photographer's dream to see their work in print and get paid for it. When asked, I quickly point out that taking the photograph, that is the easy bit, provided, of course, it shows the right thing. Photographic magazines are a good place to start, but unfortunately, their direction and market is not repeated sufficiently elsewhere. I go direct to the client, but you may find it easier to use an agency. Whatever your route, research the market carefully. You may have some wonderful images, but is there a market for it? Being a good photographer is not good enough, and you are not God's gift to photography, and neither am I. So please don't fool yourself. Oh, by the way, the make of camera, so long as it is real, has no bearing. Neither do the use of tripods, filters, pro lenses, oh, and the number of pixels your camera has, or even if you were submerged in six feet of water when the shot was taken, forget all of that. If it looks okay on the client's computer, you are in with a chance, regardless of how the image was taken and with what. For me, there are plenty of markets requiring high-quality images of British landscapes and its architecture. I only have to enter WH Smith in the UK to find out. I don't travel overseas because that increases my overheads before I start, which has to be recouped. I have been abroad on contract, otherwise I remain in the UK. Usually the photograph that sells is the one dismissed in a camera club competition. You supply to a brief, and that is more important than a beautiful artistic image in its own right. The shot has to show clearly whatever the brief dictates. As to whether that is your thing depends on how in tune you are with the client's wishes. I am fortunate. My idea of heaven on earth is to travel the British Isles, take photographs and find a market for them, which could apply to any country of residence. I still have to take the right thing. I cannot go shooting off at a tangent on an artistic mission of optimism that is not required. I support my work with an interactive website, which you may have to pay for as freebies are often too basic and do not always allow their audience to be engaged sufficiently, let alone return. Look into Webflow or WordPress amongst others, but they are not that easy to use. I display thousands of images showing the British Isles in depth. Incidentally, National parks are a saturated market. Everybody's doing it. There are too many decent pictures about which you have to compete with. So try photographing a place somewhere else, a little off the beaten track. I was invited by the art editor of Chelsea Magazines to submit a selection of images of Leeds Castle. At first, I thought it was to accompany an article, as often is the case. That may have been so, but something about one of my images made it a candidate for front cover. For the editor, it had an air of romance, and as many copies of Britain magazine are destined for the American market, Leeds Castle filled the brief. Technically, the image ticks all the right boxes, but it had to do more than that. It is very important to engage with editors, art editors, picture researchers and group directors. They are looking for somebody who is more than a good photographer. I can provide a reasonable knowledge of what I take and why, and not just attractive images. To convince the client that I am worth approaching on a regular basis, I can supply the goods and not waste their time. I have thousands of 
excellent commercial pictures and not just a few. What I do on YouTube, in my lectures and holidays helps. If you have the necessary skills to construct a decent paragraph about your work, articulate coherently and not mumble, that helps. Finally, do not allow your work to be reproduced in a commercial publication for free, especially if it has glossy adverts. Unfortunately, there are publishers out there who think you are gullible enough to be paid, yes, paid, by just mentioning your website as a credit. I hope you are worth more. Otherwise, you are doing another photographer out of a living, like me, and we won't be very happy.